In this tutorial, we'll learn how to validate the data length. How we are going to test the length of any data on this planet. So generally, nature of the data is categorized into two types. One is static, another one is dynamic. So static data means the length of the data remains constant. I mean, let's take the example here, customer ID, account ID, other number, PAN ID, SSN number. So this type of data is known as static by nature. Next comes dynamic. Dynamic data means the length of this type of data gets fluctuated. I mean, customer name. It can be 8, it can be 13. It can be 17, it can be 26. Example, customer name, product name, email ID, country name. Now, we will move to the next step. So, length of any data on this planet can be analyzed with two parameters. One is minimum and another one is maximum. So, minimum and maximum of any data we have to identify with respect to the business logic so now the most important point is if the data is static by nature the minimum will be equal to maximum let's take the example customer id assume it is eight digit numeric what it means it means minimum is equal to eight and maximum will be equal to eight next point two if the data is dynamic by nature so here minimum will not be equal to maximum i mean let's take the example if customer name minimum is equal to five and maximum is equal to seven alphabets that is given by the client or customer so in this case the minimum value of customer should be 5 and maximum should be 70. Now we will explore concept of analysis. So now time to validate the length of any data on this planet. Let's assume the customer name minimum is equal to 5 and maximum is equal to 17. So let's understand the structure. 4, 5, 6, in 16, 17, 18. So what it represents, 6 is greater than minimum value, 4 is less than minimum value, 18 is greater than maximum value, and 16 is less than maximum value. So 5 represents your minimum value, and 17 represents the maximum value. So now, we have to analyze each and every parameter equal with minimum the validation must pass here that is 5 next comes greater than minimum value that it can be 6 7 or 8 whatever it may be validation must pass next comes less than minimum value here this is very important and this is known as a negative scenario the end user will enter the 4 the validation must fail here equal with maximum value that is 17 validation must pass here next comes greater than maximum value that is 18 here validation must fail this is also a negative condition so next comes less than minimum maximum value that is 16 or 15 or 14 so in that case validation must pass now we will explore with the huge case one that is for dynamic nature data let us assume customer name is equal to 5 to 17 alphabets so the equation will be equal with minimum that is 5 
validation must pass greater than minimum that is 6 validation must pass less than minimum that is equal to 4 validation must be failed so in this case we have to understand this is a negative condition so what does it mean as you i am the end user in any application i enter my name which is having length is equal to 4 so application must stop me i mean error message must be displayed so that means if the validation is failed that means our code is perfect or our testing is perfect so this is most important during your code analysis or test analysis next comes the equal with maximum that is 17 validation must pass greater than maximum that is 18 validation must fail this is also negative condition so less than maximum that is 16 it must be passed next we will analyze the use case 2 so use case 2 stands for static nature data so in this case what will be the approach assume the customer id is equal to 8 numeric numeric means integer then equal with minimum is equal to 8 here length is constant so validation pass greater than minimum that is 9 validation fail sir so less than minimum is equal to 7 that is validation fail equal with maximum that is 8 validation must be passed greater than maximum that is equal to 9 validation must be failed and less than maximum that is 7 validation must be failed there is lots of different between the static nature data and dynamic nature data so now we will explore the code analysis for dynamic data so this program is written in python you can use any program java or sql or whatever it may be so here the variable is customer name and the list of data are present inside list so next for loop we are we can use for i in customer name i is considered as a loop variable so if the length of i here the condition is greater than and equal to 5 so 5 is minimum and length of i less than equal to 17 that is 17 so here minimum is not equal to maximum so next we can write the print statement and analyze the output so in the customer name variable the first validation is passed that is name is asmita that carries 6 character so it is validation pass next comes data length validation is fail for neha that is 4 because requirement is 5 mean value next is data length validation is glidamir vitin that carries 14 that is pass next comes data length validation for bishwanathan balguru sami and that is more than 17 that is fair so now we'll understand code analysis for static data so in this case let us assume customer id that is the length is 8 and that is constant so in this case analyze the logic here if length i equal to equal to 8 that means what we understand here there is no comparison parameter here so in because here minimum is equal to maximum and this is the major difference between static data script and dynamic data script so the most important point is we have to analyze the nature of the data whether it is static or dynamic for data length validation
that is the nucleus. So now we can write any script, whether it is test automation script or Java or Python by using this logic. Logic is absolute constant. Thanks all for your time. Please subscribe the channel so that I can reach to you with more interesting topics. Thank you.